This is a 1996 Gibson Les Paul Studio, and it's in really great condition. There's like no buckle rash on it. It's got a little, a couple little dings. I guess what happened with this one is whoever had it before me, however many owners before me, probably only one, he taped or she taped a piece of paper or something along the back so it wouldn't get scratches here. It's a couple tiny rivet dents and a little bit of rash right here from where it wasn't covered with whatever they covered it with. And, uh, it works great. Okay, here's the... This is the... Oh, let me do this real quick. So, um, here's the knob, here's the tone. Okay, here's the volume. Yeah. Neck pickup. Here's the t volume. And there's the tone. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> as you can tell, there's really not much playing that's been done on this one. I mean, for being almost 15 years old, it's in great condition and it sounds really cool. And the action, I set it up, it's phenomenal. It's like a Dario EXL 110s. They have tens on the high E. And uh, typically I I use um, nines, the 120s, the EXL 120s. But uh, on things like Les Pauls that don't have any tremolo or anything, it's uh, So is 
a good idea because altitude changes will make the strings Les Paul Studio with all the sounds that you'd expect and a lot less of the wear that you would expect with a 1986, I mean 1996 guitar. So, thanks for checking it out.